In this tutorial, let's see how to create this viral 3D folder opening animation in After Effects. It's everywhere on social media these days. So in this tutorial, I will explain you everything in detail step by step so you can follow along even if you are a beginner to After Effects. Create a new composition. First of all, let's enable the rulers by pressing Ctrl R and adjust the guides as shown here. Now let's create a shape layer and select the rounded rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape like so. Now press Ctrl Alt Home and Ctrl Home to center the anchor point and the shape layer as well. Let's position it a little bit above. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl D. Hide the shape one layer for a moment. Open the shape to rectangle path property and convert it into a Bezier path. Now with the pin tool selected and also make sure the path one property is also selected. Let's add a pointer on this first vertical guide. Now by holding the ALT key, select these two pointers and position them at the bottom like so while holding the SHIFT key. Let's add another pointer on the second vertical guide as well and adjust its position as shown here. Let's position these pointers a little bit to the left as shown here. Now select all these pointers and adjust the position as shown here. Now we can enable the shape one layer as well. Now we can turn off the rulers and the guides. Let's turn off the view of the back layer one more time. Now with the print layer selected, go to effects and presets panel and apply the CC light sweep effect and adjust its center right at the center of the folder as shown here. Increase the width and edge thickness as shown here. Choose the color and change the light perception to cut out. Now copy the light sweep effect and paste it on the back layer. Now you can enable the view of it. Now make a copy of the front layer and change the light sweep direction as shown here. Now make a copy of the back layer and change the light sweep direction on the back two layer. Now select all the layers and enable 3D for all of them. Now select the anchor point tool and position the anchor point at the bottom as shown here. Now let's create an null object. Make two more copies of the null layer and let's rename these layers. Now select all the null layers and enable 3D for all of them. Now let's position the anchor point of the front null controller as well as the back null controller as well at the bottom as shown here. Ok now let's parent the back layers to the back null controller layer and parent the front layers to the front null controller. Ok now let's parent both the back and front null controllers to the main null layer. Ok now let's add the Spotify logo. Adjust its position at the bottom left as shown here. Now let's create a Spotify text. Enable 3D for these layers and parent these layers to the front null controller. Let's add some posters. Now select any one of the poster and drag and drop it on the composition icon to create a composition with the same dimensions as same as of the poster. Now with no layer selected, double click on this rounded rectangle tool to have a rectangle shape which exactly fills up the composition size. Position the shape layer below the poster. Now let's drag man the poster to the shape layer. Let's make two more copies of this composition in the project panel by pressing Ctrl D. Let's rename these layers. Let's open the Stranger Things composition, select the image layer in it and select the Stranger Things poster from the project panel and by holding the ALT key, drag and drop it on the image layer to replace it. Now open another composition and do the same process which we have done with the previous composition. We need to just replace the image in it. Now import these three poster compositions into the timeline. Now let's enable 3D for all of them. Scale them down just like so. Let's make the front layer a bit more blurry. For that we need to make a copy of the front layer and position the duplicated one at the bottom just like so. Remove the light sweep effect in it. And let's add the camera lens blur effect. 
and here increase the blur radius according to your needs and turn it into an adjustment layer by enabling this icon. Here I forgot to position the anchor point of the main layer at the bottom. Now let's add a keyframe on Y rotation at the very beginning and then come to one second frame and adjust the Y rotation value to plus 30 degrees to positive 30 degrees. Here the posters are being cut off is just because we haven't parented them to the main layer. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Now with the front null controller layer selected, come forward and add a keyframe on X rotation and then come few frames forward and increase the X rotation to about 30 degrees. Now do the same with the back null controller layer, but this time we need to rotate it in opposite direction. Now let's animate the posters. But before that, let's position their anchor points at the bottom one by one as shown here. Select all of them and come few frames forward and add keyframes on position properties and again come few frames forward and position them upwards with the help of position y coordinate value. And for the bottom two layers, let's give them a z coordinate value of 5 so they cannot overlap the front poster. And for the bottom two layers, let's give it a rotation animation on z rotation. Come to the second keyframe and adjust the rotation values of Z rotation as shown here for the bottom two layers. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now let's create. Now, okay, now let's create this. Okay, now let's create a solid layer and position it at the bottom. Now with that layer selected, go to effects and presets panel and add a CC light sweep effect on it and you can copy the settings from here. To get rid of this edge glow, let's increase its size. Now let's create a cursor shape. For that let's switch on the proportional guides. Now grab the pen tool and make sure no layer is selected. And draw a shape like so. Enable 3D for it. Make sure the shape edges are curvy. Increase the stroke width to about this much. And minimize its size. Press Ctrl Alt Home and Ctrl Home to center the anchor point as well as the shape layer. Now we can disable the proportional guides. Now make two more copies of the shape layer. Now copy the CC light sweep effect from the front layer and paste it on the shape 1 layer. Now we need to copy the CC light sweep effect from the front 2 layer and paste it on the shape 2 layer. Repeat the same for the shape 3 layer as well. And turn the shape 3 layer into an adjustment layer by enabling this icon right here. Now let's create an all object to control the cursor and enable 3D for that layer. Now we need to select each layer and center its position by pressing Ctrl Home. Now we need to parent these three shape layers to the null 2 layer. Adjust its position at the bottom. Now let's create a position animation by adding a keyframe and then come few frames forward and add another keyframe and position the cursor on the folder just like so. Now place the play hit between these two keyframes and with the help of pen tool add a pointer here. Hold the alt key and click on this pointer and adjust these handles as shown here. Add keyframes on X, Y and Z rotations as well and then come few frames forward and give them a random rotation or you can copy my settings from here.
Okay, let's add the final position keyframe here just to create an illusion of dragging the folder downwards. And for this keyframe, let's easy ease the motion by pressing F9. Let's add a bit of rotation as well if needed. Yeah, here we go. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And thank you so much for watching.